Hello, my name is Ron Ralph. I'm the pastor of Cornerstone Baptist Church in Carthage, Tennessee. I want to take just a few moments, a very few moments, to talk to you about the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. Where will you spend eternity? Do you know, if you died right now, where you would go? When I was 18, I found the answer to that question. I grew up going to a lot of different churches because I was from a large family, nine brothers and sisters. I went to the Church of God, the Baptist, the Methodist, Church of Christ, Presbyterian. And by the time I was 16, I was very confused about eternity. But when I was 18, my mother passed away, and I wanted to know what happens when someone dies. And so I began to search the scriptures. And I want to tell you today that it doesn't matter what I say, it doesn't matter what any other preacher says. All that matters is what does God say? You see, God gave us His Word and the Holy Scripture so we can know where we're going to spend eternity. And the Bible is very clear about what it takes to be saved, to be born again, and to know where you're going to go when you die. And by the way, you can know. The Bible says in 1 John 5, 13, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. You can know where you're going to go when you die. Paul the Apostle said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And so he knew. And the Bible tells you how you can know. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Acts 16.31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. John 1.12 says, To as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You see, when Jesus said to Nicodemus in John 3, You must be born again, he went on to elaborate that the first birth is the physical birth, and the second birth is spiritual. It is one whereby you trust Jesus Christ and Him alone to save your soul. It is by faith. The Bible says in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So you see, God wants to give you eternal life. It can't be said any plainer than John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Ephesians 1 teaches that that word believe means to trust in Ephesians 1, 13. And so I encourage you today to take a look at the Word of God, read the Gospel of John, and you'll find out that if you'll place your faith in Jesus Christ and what He did at Calvary, trust Him and Him alone to save you, you can be born again and spend eternity in heaven with Jesus Christ. If I can be of help, contact me at SowingTheSeedMinistries.com or Cornerstone Baptist Church in Carthage, Tennessee. And I pray and trust that you'll be born again before it's everlastingly too late.